Welcome to this video, the first one in an introduction to the use of mathematical operations in SMAS Studio. To begin with, we're going to start with uh, this document. And we're going to be saying that variables are names that you assign to memory locations in the computer. So if you, you can use names that start with letters. Include the numbers and include the undersigned, but uh, they must start with a number. I'm sorry, with a, with a letter. They must start with a letter. And so if you have variables X and Y1, think of them as boxes where you're going to be storing values. And so in order to load a value into a variable, you need to type the name of the variable and use the assignment statement. Here are the steps. Click in an empty space. For example, right here, type a name. I'm going to type one like um, Y2X. Then use the the column and enter a value of 5.6 and click somewhere else. And your variable has been defined. Has been defined. Sorry. So, for example, if if below the definition of this one, I use X equals two. I'm sorry, X equals. You get the value of two. Um, in, in here also I've defined a variable called y1. Here's the, the numeric definition which is obtained by saying y1 equal 1. Or you can get the symbolic definition which you get by using this symbol control dot. And basically it's the same value except they're represented as fractions. I have defined another variable with a longer name, radius of ball as 2 plus the square root of 13.5, which turns out to be 5.6745. If I do the the symbolic result right here by saying equal or control dot, you get a modification of this value. Um, I don't understand what it's meant to do there, but this is the equivalent of value. And as I mentioned, you get to think of them as Memory locations where the new values of x equal 2, for example, y1 equal 1, 1, 2, 3 are now stored. Here are some exercises. If you want to try it in your SMAS Studio, you could uh, simply um, pause the video and follow the, the the indications here. But basically what you're saying is define like b equal to 2.5, m dot, um, column 1.2, and so on, and then I'm going to define the third one right here, y column 0 0.7. And then you can start defining the other variables, for example, a variable called top, undersigned width, column equal to b plus 2 times m times y equals 4.18. And then you can try the other, uh, the other examples required in there. Anytime that you need to uh, read from this document, you can pause the video and take your time reading the particular the particularities of that document. A variable like the variable width is not defined yet. If I say width equal, it's going to give me this that result indicating you haven't defined it. I'm waiting for a definition. If you have used variables like x and y1. Sorry, I'm going to put it right here. X equals and Y1 equals. These are, have been defined before, so those values are available. If you define this variable called moment of inertia, then you get a result, and you make a result, a symbolic result. If there is a variable that hasn't been defined, for example, X has been defined, and you can, if you... Um, you can look here that X has been defined, but Z hasn't been defined. And then, then the value of K defined as X plus Z will not have a particular value. But if I assign Z equal 2 and then I repeat the calculation, then you get a result for your sum. And so, in order to evaluate an expression, you need to have all the variables defined previously or you are not, not going to get any result. Here's a simple physics problem. And I'm, I'm going to delete this because what I want, I want to mention again, if you need to read, please pause. 
But what I'm indicating here between brackets, it's the action that you need to do to define a particular value. The problem says a car accelerates uniformly from a rest at a velocity of 100, from rest to a speed of 120 kilometers per, per hour in a two minute time. Determine the car acceleration. If the car has a mass of 2,500 kilograms, determine the force required to produce that acceleration. What is the momentum of the car as it reaches this, the speed shown? So we want to define an initial velocity that we call V sub zero. And so in brackets, you have, what you have to do here, if, if you were to repeat this problem, is just type whatever is in brackets. And so if I say V, oh, V zero, uh, colon equals zero, and click somewhere else, then that vital goes defined. Well, find the velocity. I, I ha it's 120 kilometers per hour, so I multiply by a hundred, by a thousand, sorry, and divide by 3,600 um, seconds in order to get that converted to meters per second. I'm not going to be using units at this point. The units are just text that accompany the results presented here. So the two minutes, I actually got the wrong information here. It should be two minutes by 60, 120 seconds, and a mass of 2,500 kilograms. I'm going to move these seconds to the left. And so, To calculate A, I'm going to repeat here A, colon, EF minus V0, space bar, divided by T. Only need one space bar right there. Equals, that gives me that result that I have over here. I was just repeating, so I'm going to delete it. And so you actually only need one space in here. Then force is equal mass times acceleration, and that should be giving me newtons. And uh, momentum is mass times final velocity that should be given units of kilogram per meters per second. If you want to use units, then you want to type the value in brackets. I'm going to repeat this one in particular. So I'm going to delete this one and say VF colon 120 20 apostrophe km divided by apostrophe hr. That's in uh, kilometers per hour. If I use the equal sign, it automatically converts to the standard units in the international system meters per second. And I was able to write even six minutes here. Um, actually, I changed the data. It should be two minutes, not six minutes. And I will be able to recover the results presented earlier. But now you have units attached to it, and, and the, the appropriate units will be shown for force and for momentum. The units for momentum I'm getting here is seconds times Newton, whereas originally I said it should be mass times the velocity. Well, this must be equivalent. And to prove that, what I did, I typed kilograms times meters per second, and it comes out to be seconds Newton. And that's one simple example of physics using variables.